Hello and welcome to my video. Today we are going to tackle some simple trigonometric expressions. So the problem is, if sine theta plus cosine theta equals k, then express sine cube theta plus cosine cube theta, sine to the power of 4 theta plus cosine to the power of 4 theta, and finally, sine to the power of 5 theta plus cosine to the power of 5 theta in terms of k, sine theta plus cosine theta. And if you somehow wonder, well, where is sine square theta plus cosine square theta? Sine square theta plus cosine square theta is simply 1. So we only care about higher powers. All right, let's get on to it. Okay, so first, sine cube theta plus cosine cube theta. Here we apply the famous factorization formula for the sum of cubes. a cube plus b cube equals a plus b times a square minus a b plus b square. Applying this, we have sine theta plus cosine theta times sine square theta minus sine theta cosine theta plus cosine square theta. Here, this sine square theta plus cosine square theta equals 1, and this sine theta plus cosine theta is k. So we have k times 1 minus sine theta cosine theta. So we require the expression for sine theta cosine theta. From this condition, sine theta plus cosine theta equals k, squaring both sides gives this. Again, sine square theta plus cosine square theta is 1, so we have this. So finally, we have sine theta cosine theta equals k square minus 1 over 2. So using this, we have k times 1 minus k square minus 1 over 2, which gives k times 3 minus k square over 2. And this is the answer. Next, the sum of powers of 4. Here we apply this famous relation. x to the 4 plus y to the 4 equals x square plus y square squared minus 2 x square y square. So we have sine square theta plus cosine square theta squared minus 2 sine square theta cosine square theta. And this is 1. So we have 1 square minus 2 times sine theta cosine theta squared. Here we apply this result, which we obtained previously. So we have 1 minus 2 times k square minus 1 over 2 squared. So 1 minus 2 times, if we expand this, we have k to the 4 minus 2k square plus 1 over 4. And if we calculate this, we have 1 plus 2k square minus k to the power 4 over 2. So this is the answer. Okay, so finally, the power of 5. Perhaps the trickiest one among these three problems. But even this one is not a problem at all if you know the trick. Note that this sine to the power 5 theta plus cosine to the power 5 theta appears in the expansion of sine square theta plus cosine square theta times sine cube theta plus cosine cube theta. If we expand this, we have this sine to the 5 plus cosine to the 5, then sine square theta cosine cube theta plus sine cube theta cosine square theta. Therefore, we can rearrange this equality and solve for sine to the 5 theta plus cosine to the 5 theta. And that is, so we have this and minus sine square theta cosine cube theta minus sine cube theta cosine square theta. Here, this is 1. And from this part, we can extract sine square theta cosine square theta as the common factor. Then we have 1 times sine cube theta plus cosine cube theta minus sine square theta cosine square theta times sine theta plus cosine theta. Here we have already obtained this from the first problem. And this is k and this. Therefore, we have k times 3 minus k square over 2 minus k square minus 1 over 2 square times k. And if we simplify this, we obtain k times 5 minus k to the power of 4 over 4. And this is our answer. And that's all for today's video. If you like this video, please consider giving it a like and also subscribing to my channel. 
Thank you for watching and I will see you in another video.